For this video, we're going to look at how to edit a picture in your Snapseed app. So this is good for editing pictures of your artwork or if you're doing photography and you're editing your photos that way. But for Snapseed, it looks like this right here. So it's like a little leaf with a square next to it. So you're just going to open that up. And now you can take a picture with Snapseed. So by camera, or you can open one that you already have. So I'm going to click open device and I'm going to go find a picture. And so I'm going to pick uh, this picture of my puppy dog. All right. So now Snapseed is going to, sometimes they'll give you the, like these prop, the prompts for these already like, Hey, you can see what it looks like in this. Um, you can play with those, but for what I want you to really focus on when you're editing is there is this lovely little pencil tool over here, okay? And in here, there's a lot of different things that you can do. A lot of the stuff that we're going to be doing in class is mainly tune image, curves, crop. You might need to rotate maybe a little bit of perspective. You can mess with your white balance. Um, some of these get a little bit more fancy smancy and some of them just get a little bit overboard for what a lot of what we do in class but so I think first things first is I kind of want to crop this picture now format wise you can choose any format or you can go with a free form okay so I think I'm going to go with free form and then in order to form you format uh in order to crop you kind of just drag your corners, okay? And it's gonna give you this rule of thirds box, the boxes. So think of it as um, you want it to hit one of these, oh, sorry, I'm trying to get my circle here to show you guys. You wanna get one of these points as, as your focal point, okay? Now, um, a good rule of thumb for the rule of thirds, lots of rules in this, is if you have to, like, crop more than half the picture out, it's not a good picture to start with. So for mine, I think the way I want to do rule of thirds with this one is I'm going to split it up into three. So I'm going to have a third of it be the pillows, a third of it be the dog, and a third of it be the blanket, mainly because I just, there's some background stuff that I really don't need in this picture. And yes, I know the dog goes a little bit into the blanket third, but it is what it is. Um, so there's my lovely crop. And then I'm going to go back to my uh, tools and I think now I'm going to mess with tuning the image and this is a really good one for you for when it comes to just editing any of your pictures or uh, your photos that you took for your website and you can adjust your brightness contrast saturation ambiance highlights shadows and warmth so for each of them you just you decide which one you're going to do and you scroll either to the right or to the left and that you can see that blue bar on the top is moving and you don't actually have to touch the blue bar. You just kind of put your finger on your screen and you go back and forth on the iPad. And so with your brightness, that's going to mess with how bright everything is. Whereas if you are messing with your highlights, that's just going to mess with the, the hot, like the brighter spots on your image. So if I want to just mess with those whites and make them kind of darker, I can, I can also, when it comes to your contrast, that's going to change, that's going to adjust your both your highlights and your shadows. But let's say you just want to mess with your darker areas. You just would click on the shadow. So maybe you want it to be a little bit more, a little darker of an image going on there. Or maybe you really want to bring it up. Now, your goal is not to like gray out the picture. I mean, it depends on what you're doing. But for example, with saturation, if you want to go black and white, that's fine. Your goal is not to go creepily overboard and over edit everything okay um but like i said it all depends on what you're doing so warmth this is a good one for hey i took a picture in the school and now my picture is really yellowish looking okay i can mess with my warmth to adjust with that or maybe your lights at home make things look cooler so you need to mess with it that way um and then if i want to save that i just click the little check mark or i would click the little x over here in the corner so I'm going to click my check mark. Uh, you can also get a little bit more in-depth into your, these are called the curves, okay? So right now I am on the channel that's RGB. So that means I'm messing with my red, my green, and my blue. And so if you look over here on this lovely little graph here, so the higher up you go, 
that's I'm messing with my my higher colors and now I'm messing with my lower colors. Maybe I want to mess with just the reds. So I want to mess with those mid-tone reds and I am going to bring them down a little bit. Or I'm going to make them more red or less or now I want to mess with those ones. And this one practice before you really, you know, commit to what you're doing. And I don't think I like what I've got going on here, so I'm just going to x out of that. But you can also mess with your white balance. And so you've got auto adjust, but I suggest you play a little bit. You can play with your temperature. So that's kind of like your warmth. And then tint. All right. Uh, you can pick your neutral color. So like here is my, here's my neutral color and it's going to mess with it there for you. But I would just play around with all of these lovely little different apps that are tools that you have going on over here because they're all good tools for you to at least know how to use. All right. And then once you're all done, so let's say I'm happy with this, I want to save. I am going to click this little box down here with the arrow pointing up and I can either save it with the changes so I can undo. I can save a copy so it's not going to, um, it's not going to save it to that original it's going to make a copy of it or I can export it and it's going to make the changes permanently so um because I'm going to want to put this on my website so I need it to be a jpeg so I'm going to export it and make sure that it's permanent so it's just export it there we go and it saved it to my ipad for me so and then that's my next one I would just click open and I've just saved it so I'm good to go and I would just continue with my editing